Hello guys. This video is a follow-up of this video right here, which came out four months ago, so, if you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and do so, because this video might not make sense to you, but to recap, there's this company called Orange Cutlick that was scamming people out of people's innocent money and tricking them into thinking that Orange Cutlick was a real video downloader, when in reality it wasn't. That's all I'm gonna say, for, now let's get on with the video. First of all, I'm going to talk about the CD-ROM and DVD-ROM version of the Orange Codex software, since I was not able to talk about it in my previous video. Basically what this means is that the program was in stores around 2006 to 2011, however we don't know when it was taken off shelves. It has been located in Walmart and Goodwill for quite some time. This is what was inside of the disk. I will let you pause the video and read it for yourself. Second of all, I'm gonna talk about the updates of the Orange Codex Findings blog. First of all, there was somebody presumably remembering a YouTube video that was uploaded in 2006 that was an advertisement for the program being in stores. Secondly, the operator uploaded a video called ICIOW.WMB. I'll let you play the video and see for yourself. interesting stuff such as a commercial that aired in 2008, the FBI agent going insane, while typing on the blog, a diary, another video, which I'll play, for you right now. A journal, The Lost Succothan 3000's Dream Commercial, an old web archive capture of the Orange Codex official YouTube channel, a Orange Codex t-shirt, and a website called gavilliams.com which led to several different sites that eventually lead to this YouTube channel right here. This is several pieces of evidence that I have no time explaining for you, because this is going to be a two-hour video of rambling. If I was talking about this information in detail. This is honestly so much information to talk about that I suggest you to read the Orange Codex Findings blog for yourself. I see you, WMV. I feel my glory. Here they just admitted the whole thing was an ARG. God bless, dude. It's an ARG with nothing to go for it. What we have uncovered next is probably one of the worst movies of all time. And that is the Orange Codex movie made by a team of Orange Codex haters. When you start watching this quote-unquote movie, it looks really terrible. This looks like it was rushed. It looks like it was made in three hours with really bad animation software. Then you realize that this movie is five minutes long. These people don't even understand what a real movie is. But that is not the worst part. What you are about to hear in your ears is probably one of the worst songs of all time.
Take a listen to this. Here's what I have to say, you poets, get it. I think you're a little big. I should call you big mama. I would tell mama to get you. She was upset that you have a job at Classy. I don't believe that you're in there for the one last time. Oh, that's right, on Ranks Carter, you just got roasted. I hope your mommy cries tonight, you I hope your mommy cries tonight because you just got roasted one big time. Bitch called it the company owner the bitch bitch he dies the name I hope he dies the name I don't even have to play the entire song because it is two minutes long and it is just terrible it's full of really bad roasts that don't make any sense at all and overall what you have just heard was not the only song that they have made they even made a sequel I'm not joking it's full of the same stuff bad rap lines bad music bad roasts, and much much more. I don't even have to show you what the second one sounds like, because it's somehow even worse than the first one. You go through this much effort and time and then you make this really terrible rap song? No one should even like these songs at all. I'm not sure where to begin with this one. Here's what the game box art looks like. It's honestly terrible. And worst of all, this video game dot 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 is the most dangerous video game of all time dot 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 Brasty Incorporated and Samus Limited managed to make the worst and dangerous video game of all time. This is real. The game starts with you answering a few trivia questions all about the history of Orange Colic. Then the game makes you select a car, and then it becomes a really bad first person shooter. Why must this video game even exist in the first place? Then you answer one more trivia question, because you don't get enough of their terrible trivia questions, and then this happens. Then after that, another video is uploaded to this mysterious YouTube channel. It was about the owner trying to restart his PlayStation 2, however the system would crash every time he would try to boot it up, and finally, in his fourth attempt, this happened. Then after this, some garbage truck worker finds the PlayStation 2 in the dumpster. Basically the original owner that uploaded the video of the police officer restarting the PS2 has passed away suddenly and the Oklahoma police have the PS2 in their possession after one of the police officers passed away trying to collect evidence from someone named Ronald that uploaded the Gamma Play video to YouTube. They didn't know what to do with it so they threw it in the trash. And then the garbage truck worker found the PlayStation 2 in the dumpster and decided to turn it on. Another video is uploaded showing that the PS2 last time played the game Resident Evil 4, not Orange Cut at the video game. The garbage truck owner speculates that the game is not real, and then the console starts to freak out, because the console was infected by a virus called PS2 Destroyer. And then this happens. The PS2 suddenly crashes so the garbage truck worker had to restart the PS2. And then the PS2 randomly started to play the Orange Colic video game. This is also caused by the PS2 virus. 
it injects a copy of the video game to the console, so that it wants to force you to play the dangerous video game. Sadly the garbage truck worker failed to eject the disc out, since the button wasn't working for some reason. This is probably another payload by the PS to destroy virus. The picture starts to scroll up again. And then, when the console started to really brick itself at the final trivia question, this happens. And then the garbage truck worker hears someone knocking on the door, he says that he saw a tall man, he even said that he had no eyes, and that the uninvited visitor didn't leave him alone. He even said that the visitor was looking for danger and that the visitor didn't even like him. This is when he really started to freak out. Watch and see this for yourself. <laughs> Finally, the garbage truck worker is deceased, and now there are chain messages being spread around that we should avoid this dangerous video game. This is because more victims are exploring dumpsters and finding random video game consoles, one of them being the PS2. If someone finds infected PS2 with the PS2 destroy virus, they will also suffer the same fate. This is not a joke. And if you see any weird stuff happening to someone's PS2, you should contact the police immediately. And this is where the video finally ends. See you guys next time and goodbye.